Alhamdulillah, we've um, recently launched our extension project. The mosque currently holds approximately 400 worshippers. That's my brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, by the praise of Allah, by, by the mercy of Allah, um, many, many have now accepted Islam, in particular from the Afro-Caribbean um, background. And the number of worshippers from 400 has now shot up to about a thousand and a half. So because of this, we've decided to extend the masjid. Um, Alhamdulillah, the project was launched Ramadan of 2009. And we've made a lot of progress and we've raised about 90,000 pounds. However, the target to complete everything is actually 200,000 pounds. So we're trying to raise the money, um, asking help from other communities on the websites and um, by other means also. All we have up to now is the basic um, shell or the structure if you like. The current capacity of the masjid itself, the actual building, is about 500 people at the moment. And with the extension coming on board, we'll probably take that up to about 800 or maybe even 900. We've got um, external use. We've had, because of the extension being built, we've been forced to use the streets outside the, the mosque, the playground of the school next door, um, and we haven't been able to use the master the, the extension as it is because it's still a building site. People from all kinds of backgrounds come to our mosque to, to pray and to be, and become Muslim. So white, black, Arab, Somali, Asian, you know, all types of people, all different types of races in our community. We're very, very diverse. <laughs> I actually, before I decided to take my shahada, I went to different mosques around, say, South London and Croydon. But I wanted to specifically take my shahada here, just for the feeling and the, the welcoming feeling I had when I first came here. So it was the number one choice. I wanted to come here to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of unity in this masjid. Like, brothers are very together. Like they help you like when they give you information like dawah and they teach you about Islam they only give you facts which are stated in the Quran by the Prophet. Lots and lots of new Muslims, men and women coming through to the dawah here. Um, we do active dawah in the streets, we've got the dawah tables, we have a lot of classes running in the mosque as well so we're, and we're well known for being a place of learning. I read about all the different religions and um, I found that Islam was the only one that worshipped an uh, all-knowing, all-seeing, perfect God. And the rest, uh, the other religions worship men, statue, animals, money, um, life, American lifestyles, uh, music and all these things. Uh, so I believe that God was the only thing worthy of worship and that he knows everything, sees everything, hears everything. And Islam is the only religion that offers this. Who was God praying to? If Jesus is God, who was he praying to? Jesus was, remember, Jesus was the son of God who was and he, he was also God. He who, was a part of who God. Who was he praying to? He was, who was he, 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 Jesus was there before we I'm gonna, were I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it very, I'm gonna make it very simple for you. Jesus, is so you believe that Jesus is God. Okay, so far we've probably spent about £150,000 so far to get the master to this state. Um, so the next part sets we need probably we'll need about another £200,000 to complete the shell. That will mean putting the roof in, um, putting the windows in and probably putting the staircase in and completing the wood area which is downstairs. Up on the, um, up there they're gonna re they're gonna they've got waterproofing at the moment but that's gonna there's only so much waterproofing they can take. The mosque is actually in a conservation area, so we've got very strict rules about how the buildings look around here. And if you look around, you'll notice the mosque and the buildings all around it all look the same, and that's one of the things we had in our planning permission. My vision is to see our children, because they are the future, our future to have the opportunity that we didn't have in terms of education, knowledge. Because knowledge is the fundamental base of everything we do here, which has to proceed in the action. Our aims and objectives represent what um, Islam has, called, uh, has instructed us to do, to enjoin upon the people good and the forbidden. We have developed an um, organization out of Brixton Mosque that is trying to eradicate 
um, things like guns, a knife crime, drug crime, you know, we're people. So we have to help them, whether they be Muslims or not. More Caribbean that's taken to the deen because the deen, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, I think. Do you understand? And obviously, mashallah, uh, we see it as it's, it's the trueness, isn't it? So, alhamdulillah. This is the house of Allah. And um, I hope Allah will accept what we have done here. That's the main point, what we have done. And continue to aid us in our development.